Welcome everyone. I am Michelle Giles and joining me today is Mark Burstein, EVP Industry Principal and Mike Curtin, Senior Vice President of Sales with Legility. Thank you both for joining me today. Let's go ahead and get started. We have a lot to talk about. On December 23rd, President Biden signed the bipartisan Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. Mark, what does this mean for companies that import products to sell in the U.S. market? Well, here's the problem, Michelle. Xinjiang is a really large region in Northwest China. It's more than twice the size of Texas. This new law prohibits the importation of all products that contain any amount of material or labor associated with Xinjiang. Um, and compliance with this law is going to be a considerable challenge. Xinjiang accounts for 20% of the global cotton supply, 45% of global silicon production, and a significant amount of hair products, gloves, tomatoes, sugar, and hardware. Um, for companies that import these products, the only way to clear the shipment is by providing proof of admissibility. And without it, the importer has three options. They can either destroy the goods, abandon them, or ship them to another country for resale. And this new law expands the list of banned products beyond the current WROs. Plus, the House Ways and Means Committee is requesting as much as a tenfold increase in funding and a quadrupling of staffing for CBP's forced labor and enforcement. Wow, thank you. So, I mean, this really is a, a big deal. Um, so, Mike, you work with these impacted brands every day. Can you tell us about the urgency you're seeing with some of our customers and prospects and what, what should they be doing right now? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Good question. You know, the urgency around this topic, Michelle, is higher than I've ever seen it. You know, that said, uh, you know, better vendor management, you know, visibility have, have been hot for, you know, for a, a while now, you know, before the signing of the Forced Labor Prevention Act, um, primarily due to just increased volatility in the global business landscape. So we're already working with a good number of customers in this area. Um, but the, you know, the, the legislation um, has served as a huge accelerator for companies to find a scalable and sustainable traceability um, solution because there, there's real risk. You know, as consumer awareness for forced labor increases and regulations get tighter, the risk to businesses' operations and the risk to their brand increase right along with it. So what companies uh, are doing now and what they should be doing, right now they're they're scrambling. You know, they're they're um, gathering information by brute force, throwing bodies at the problem, or they're just running at risk. And uh, what they need to be doing immediately, you know, and this is absent of any technology, is to start gaining awareness and visibility to their upstream suppliers. You know, the reality is in six months, organizations are going to need to provide a documented chain of custody that shows that their supply chain is free of forced labor. Um, that's going to be next to impossible to do without a scalable technology in place. So, you know, we're already working with a lot of uh, organizations. Um, we're doing this. The technology's there. It's really just a matter of making it a priority and, and implementing it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you both so much for your time today. I'm really looking forward to continuing this conversation in the coming weeks. And in the meantime, to find out how you can ensure supplier transparency across your supply network, visit the link below.